What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, just want to do a quick video on my wheel and tire setup and rubbing. So, um, the truck is absolutely filthy right now, so disregard that. But this is a 20 by 12 fuel Maverick with a 33-1250 Toyo MT. Uh, I've had Toyos on all my trucks, really. I, I love them. Yeah, they're expensive, but they last a good long while. They don't ever really get out of balance or start cupping or, or anything like that. But as you can see, I haven't really trimmed up front, but I've done a significant amount in the back, which it's kind of difficult to tell right now because it's filthy but this used to come way down here and I had to trim this and hammer it back and it definitely doesn't look professional but it was good enough for me and even from right here you can't really tell if you didn't know what you were looking at but that stopped it from rubbing now when I was having rubbing issues I had three inch springs on it with a uh, spacer right here as well so overall about five inches of lift and then i put the long control arms on it for the six to eight inch lift this is the bds kit so um i have since stepped down to a 33 inch tire and taken the spacer off of the front so it's it's about three inches of lift and uh, i still have the longer control arms which is going to push the axle forward just a little bit which will stop it from rubbing on uh, the pinch weld as well but it did rub and dodges have really big wheel wells but when you go to a negative 44 offset on a 20 by 12 it's going to happen now if you want to go a negative 76 or wider than that then it, it's going to rub and you're going to have to lift or you're going to have to trim or you're going to have to do both uh, it just depends on how much hacking you want to do on your truck or how much money you want to spend on the lift so there are guys that will do it professionally but then that's going to cost a ton of money so i just did what i could and i was happy enough with the results and so i've lived with it ever since you know um everybody's got their own opinion on how to make things work but did want you to know that you do have to do trimming and even though it's a Dodge and it's not a Chevy and it doesn't have square wheel wells, like, well, it may help, but it doesn't solve the problem. It's going to rub. So you can just not turn to full lock if you don't want to, I guess. But uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this upload. Please like this video, subscribe, comment if you got any questions, comments, concerns. If you like the way I did it, hate the way I did it. I don't care. Just drop a comment down below. And, uh,